Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Darling, you're looking ravishing. Absolutely ravishing. Today is a very special day and I'm gonna take you with me. We're going all the way to Ichiyan and we're going to a Korean traditional mixed with modern spa. I went to a Korean spa in New Jersey. It was huge, it was really cool. But we are going to go to a real spa in Korea. This journey is two hours away uh, Ichiyan is like close to where the airport is and it's a two hour journey to get there. My friend lives over there so that's why I'm gonna go over there. Um, so that's where we're going today. I need to get a Sony vlogging camera but for now we're gonna, we're gonna dust out this, this little guy, the G7X. I've had this vlogging camera for like three or four years. It's been around the world with me. Like this has come everywhere with me. Um, I, I've even had to get it fixed once. Also, we'll we'll have a look around and see ch maybe Chinatown in Xi'an and some of the places over there because I've been in Seoul this whole time. So we're gonna move out of Seoul today. Well, it's the first time we're moving out of Seoul. here one of I think maybe Korea's biggest resort in all South Korea Paradise City. I didn't know it was the biggest one but apparently it is. It's right here by the Cheon Airport and we're gonna go in and see how it goes. All right so we're in. We got our our things on the wrists and now we're gonna get into the spa and see what happens. Our spa clothes. Way too many people. We're gonna start with the wave dream room. All right. Sixty-three. Let's translate that. So Sixty-three is one hundred and forty-five degrees. So I got the special boiled egg, which apparently you eat at these places, and a coffee because I'm really tired. So we got our fancy feast. The essentials, actually. If you know me, eggs and coffee are what I could live off of. Not that I like them that much because I think that they're efficient. How's the, what is that rice? Rice pot. It's really good, you want to try it? Yeah. There's little chunks of rice, just so you know. The texture. Rice punch. Sweet. But interesting. Very, very, very sweet. Oh, well, there's so much easier to peel. Stop. 
Yeah. I'm retoxing. It's <laughs> like detox, retox. Oh. So it's 66 degrees. This spa near Paradise Inn is huge and it has a lot of different sauna rooms all having different types of benefits. There's the amethyst room, salt room, there's some that are really 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 hot and some that are cooling. It has really any type of sauna room that you can imagine. I feel like you could die in there. I have to try it. The Bulgama room is the hottest. It's incredibly hot, like 180 some degrees. And it's carpeted? It's Oh, you can't even stand. Oh my god. My feet. I can't. Do people... It says not to be too close to the displays right Yeah, but how are you standing on that? Yeah, let's get out. <laughs> Can you imagine if the door just like stuck? That is that was hell. Oh, like literally, after going to hell, we need to cool down. In the ice room. And this is 14 degrees. So. It feels nice after the other ones, but it's not that cold. It's not as cold as I thought it would be. It's basically just how the subways feel with the air conditioning. Okay, so this is the foot thing. Yeah, you can like walk in. It's a bit deep. Should we walk on it? They're a bit ouchy, I think. Yeah, you can walk on it. Ouch. <laughs> I hate these. They always hurt. There's also um, milk baths and outside pools and also an infinity pool like the one I went to in New Jersey and it actually looks very, very similar to that one. You can get different types of tickets to this spa. We got the basic one which was like less than, it was around $23 for four hours. Decided to go back to hell, which is the 85 degrees one. Once you lay down and settle in, putting the block of wood underneath your head, it's bearable to stay in the Bulgama room. We stayed over like 10 minutes. We're like seven minutes in now. And I can confidently say that 180 degrees Fahrenheit is the hottest place that I've ever been. I was even able to stretch after a while. After that we ended with the Galaxy Room. Korea has some of the best digital artwork displays that I have seen since being here and it's one of my favorite things. So we were going to get a massage and a facial but they were fully booked today and they didn't have any spaces already. <laughs> But now we're gonna head to um, Chinatown. Welcome to Chinatown in Incheon. Look at that. That's cute. I'm gonna try that. Interesting. I'm finally going home. 
Yeah, it's like an hour. <laughs> So it's glazed frozen strawberry. To end this very nice and relaxing day, we came across a 24 hour self serve cafe, which I've been wanting to see just to look at them. They're 24 hours and you can just serve yourself. It's really cool. They have a lot of cameras in there. I find these types of things fascinating in Korea. Also, I find fascinating this weird hand soap bar thing. Stay tuned for more adventures, stay extraterrestrial, and I'll see you in the next video. Home again, home again. It was a long journey.